Oh. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. We are back, Jack, California. Can't you see the excitement? The true blue. Can't wait to kill tail and shovelers today. That is what we're gonna do. That's the goal. Me and Thomas and Rocky. A lot of people out hunting. They've seen better numbers, better averages. And now everybody in the ground was here. Might get a little bit of rain. Weather's warm, of course. Now it's supposed to be like 60. Do you know that? It's supposed to be like 65 today. So, anyways, whatever. It is what it is. We can use mojos now out here in California. We're really just hoping that there's teal and shovelers today out flying. I want a limit of green heads. See if we can shoot 14 Drake shovelers. Let's go. Get him, bud. Get him. Well, we're just finished setting up decoys. I was getting my GoPro out and Thomas zonked a nice shoveler. Drake shoveler. Good boy. Good boy here. Good shot. Came right over. We got about how many decoys you got, Thomas? That, oh. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Here, here, he's going to his dog's down. Leave, good boy. Ooh, him ugly. <laughs> but he did. Stung there. What's up, Rocky? Well, we're not skunked. We haven't even stoned him. Really? Did you have your, you probably didn't have your. I didn't. Cool. I was putting shells in my hand <clears throat> like this. I was like, oh, there's a shoveler. That's a nonchalant. <laughs> Thomas put a couple of mallards back here. We got three or four over there, and then we got the teal shovelers and pintails and a spinner over here. So we only got like 40 decoys. I thought we had a little bit more. We did, but it was a muddy walk. Hey, all that matters is we're not skunked now. Right off the bat, we just get one out of the way. There's honestly not hardly any birds flying though, but we'll see. <laughs> Two Drake shovelers down, baby. Good boy. Yeah. Leave. Kill him. Good boy. Can you get up Shovelers. God, they're ugly. Huh? Thanks. Awesome. Kill him. Good boy. All right, guys. Three birds down. Um, I don't. I want to say I think we're doing better than I thought we would, but I don't know if I should say that or not. I really don't know what I thought we'd do. I just knew we'd shoot shovelers until I was hoping. My GoPro was all wonky though, so I don't know if you guys actually see me shoot that with the GoPro, but maybe, hopefully it's on the shot cam. So, I was changing batteries, of course. Sit. Sit. We just had a coot, guys. <laughs> How far? I should've shot him. You should've. Sit. We had a coot land in our coot decoys three yards away. In him. Scared us to death. Should have shot him. Coot challenge? <laughs> this is a good day for a good coot killing too. All right, guys, we're calling it quits. It's 10 o'clock. Three birds that came in, we got. So three birds down. There, there was a till Thomas probably could have got. Oh, yeah. But... We made the most of our opportunities. So, anyways, we're gonna go get breakfast. This, this is not over, stay tuned. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it's so hard to be sincere on that. <laughs> oh. 
Oh man, I can't even ask. I don't have the heart to tell someone to like this poor video. For real, so we're gonna go get some food and then we're gonna go to a different refuge and hopefully a stand-up blend is really what we're wanting. I'll hunt the rest of the afternoon, so stay tuned. Kennel. All right, guys, we're back at the truck. Waiting on Thomas, he's using the blue room. I, I wanted to say something. I haven't ever done this before and I wanted to give a shout out to uh, my California homies. For real though, been traveling around stuff for a couple years and I've seen how it is other places and nobody from outside of California take this wrongly because I know there's some other states that you guys really have to grind hard and hunt really, really, I don't even like that word honestly, I don't even like grind, but hunt really hard, you know what I mean? Like, and just to show a little bit, stay out all day, come back with a bird or two or something like that. I just wanted to say, you know, I really have a lot of respect for California guys in the sense that we're really willing to work really hard, go out there, you guys were willing to hunt all day hard, hard, hard and come home with two or three birds. I've been some places you just don't have to really do that. And I'm, I know I'm fresh back from Washington and stuff like that. And I'm not taking anything away from Washington, Kansas, Nebraska, because I know they all have their hard days, tough days where you don't hardly, can you shut that on a video of you sitting there? He's on the toilet. Anyways, and uh, there's a wasp in there. I'm born and raised here in California too, so can you sit? Relax, Jackson, sit. Anyways, I just wanted to say that. Uh, give it, or Take it or leave it, whatever you want. Like I said, I know there's some states, it's, you guys have it tough, but just for me, personal experience, because I've hunted here, grew up here my whole life and hunted other places, it's, you know. And you know, I should just say a big shout out to duck hunters in general, because I mean, we're kind of crazy. I think you guys all know that. We'll literally stay out here all day long for one or two birds and you have to love it and you have to be passionate about it to do that. Like who in their right mind is gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? I could tell you of a few people right now that just think we're completely stupid, but you know what? That's That shows that you're passionate right there. You know, if there ain't, the migration ain't in, I get it. You know, it's not there, but anyways, I just wanted to say that and uh, appreciate all, all of you guys from any state where you have to really hunt hard just to make up a bag. You guys are awesome. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. I'm starving. It's a hot one, boys. Said this refuge is like the night before Christmas. Not a creature is stirring. Not even a mouse. All right, guys. We're back out here in the blind. We're actually in a three-man stand-up right now. He's got two birds. I've got one. So we need a little bit to knock our limit out. We're doing something a little weird. You guys are gonna think we're stupid, probably. We might be, but we'll see how it pans out. We'll see which, we don't know which way the birds come from here, but we got our decoys all back here, our spinning wing, and then up this channel a little bit. I don't know, I'm feeling like we're gonna shoot them off to the sides. We got like 35 decoys out, a spinning wing. I'm gonna load our guns and see how this goes. Any final words? Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. Can't shoot them on the couch, right? It's true. Can't shoot him if you're not out here hunting. <laughs> right on. Thank you guys. Hey, wave, you're on camera. <laughs> What's your name? Colton Tucker. Colton Tucker, right, man? Thank you. That's cool. Colton Tucker. Awesome, one of Austin's buddies. That was pretty awesome.
his dog chased it from his blind all the way to hers. He was 10 foot from it. And that thing was like wide awake. I mean, cooking fast. That dog was going as fast as he could, but the water's deep. And he just snagged him up. That dog did some work right there. I'm, imp I'm impressed. A stinking mallard had his bill above the water, sneaking out the back door, and I seen him. He got two shots in him, and the dog got him. Cool. That was cool just to see that. We literally haven't had one opportunity yet. Those mallards were working us and them, but we we weren't calling. I don't know if they were, and the, but they dropped in over there and they got them. Hey guys, we're getting it towards the end of our hunt and I just wanted to show you something. My buddy Elliot at Freelance Duck Hunting, he hooked me up with his uh, Freelance Hunt Stats where you can track your birds for the season. It's really neat because you can say where you're at, how many birds you shot, what the date was, all that good stuff. But I'm just going to walk you through it real quick and let you guys look at the screen as I input this hunt from today. Alright, so I click on New Hunt. This is FreelanceHuntStats.com. Click on Waterfowl. Then I go down to the date is December 7th, 2019. Okay, so I'm gonna name the hunt. And then I go to the state. I go to weather conditions. And I'm gonna call today mostly cloudy. Give the temperature, I'm gonna say over 60. I'm just gonna go with strong wind, 13 to 20. Then enter game information. So I'll go to green wing, cause that's all I shot. Click on that, then you say how many you harvested. I just shot one. Hit save hunt. So if you guys want to check that out, go to FreelanceHuntStats.com. It's pretty cool. I like logging it. Set it right down on a paper in your notes. You can actually keep that, and it keeps your whole lifetime stats. So go check it out. Well, boys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the B-roll and the lack of killing. Hopefully the B-roll made up for the lack of shooting the birds. Awesome. All that matters is that we were out it was a beautiful, together. It was a beautiful sunset. That we were together enjoying bonding, brotherly bonding time. You know what, guys? We didn't even hardly fight today. Did we fight? We might fight here in a minute because... There's a dis there's the discord on who should be pushing the cart back. I pushed it out here. I he pushed the I cart out twice this morning. Okay, let me ask you At something. a worse... Okay. On a ro <laughs> worse <laughs> road. Okay. It was muddy. What did I say on the way back today, though? What did I huh? say? What are you talking about? On the way back, I said, do you want to push or do you want to carry these decoys on? You know these that... These 60 carrying... decoys on your back. Which one? Oh. I said, which one do you want to do? You know that the decoys were And I easier. said, which one? And that's why I picked the harder one. <laughs> you think that's a joke, but that's just who I am. Okay. So you should you do... Th so you, you should do jack was, squat twice? You thought I was dumb because I pushed that when in all reality... I didn't think you were dumb. I thought you chose that. So you thought that was the easier thing? What? The cart. I never said that. I what said, you'd rather push than have something on your back that weighs 100 pounds. There was 40 decoys in there. Pounds. If it was a gravel road, it wouldn't have mattered. This is I'll, I'll push it back, guys. I'll push it back. Time. I'm going to get a video and footage of me pushing no. that back. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm never going to let you think that you did more than me. Because I don't care. I'll, I'll be the man. Oh, God. I'll do the right thing. It's about time. <laughs> I'll do the right thing, as, about, as always. As always. Time. Shooting time is over, no birds, we didn't have one opportunity. There's, those guys are coming out. But now it's gonna take 20 minutes to roll up 40 decoys.